I'm Jean Alexander Freider, mm -hmm. and this is my piece, Colorful Squares, from 2016, and we're showing it in 2021. Uh, so I've always worked with different materials, and working dimensionally with painting came about after a long period of time of just painting in a traditional kind of way of stretched canvas paint. And it came about probably when I started thinking about the deconstruction and reconstruction of painting mm -hmm. and thinking about my interaction with the materials and different ways to approach the materials. Okay. Yeah, so like I talked about um, deconstructing painting, I thought a lot about the different materials in painting and then the language within painting of, of, of those materials. So for example, um, the canvas here would be called a support because it supports the picture, it supports the painting, the actual paint. And so um, I thought about my own role in my life as sort of a support to my family. And I wanted it to be bolder and um, have a greater role, maybe the leading role for a minute. And I thought about that as in kind of a way of approaching painting. And so that's where these came from. So right after graduate school, I was a little bit intimidated with color. Maybe it's because of my love for it, actually. <laughs> I was doing a lot of process-based, conceptual-based work that would find itself in black and white. And once I decided to kind of open the doors to color, there's a lot of pleasure in it. There's a lot of choices, there's a lot of references, and I found that to be just as meaningful as the materials themselves. As, as uh, Crystal and I were putting this painting up, installing the painting, because the work can be so sculptural, a lot of times they sit in a flattened state in the storage space. And so we were opening it up, and I was reminded of a story that my studio mate had told me about she had gone to see someone speak who was in tapestry restoration. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that was super interesting was she put these tapestries that had fallen apart over the years or have been disintegrated in different ways into a bath. And they had like this wonderful material memory where they would swim back to each other. And I loved that idea about material memory because I often come across that when I'm taking my paintings again, especially these works that I would call my softer paintings they have to kind of be expanded again. And so there's the material memory that happened from the folding and the original working. There's that memory of me interacting with it and making it. And then there's also the memory that the material itself has, like as it will act differently with the raw canvas or the painted surface. And so we had a nice conversation about that. 